Hello friends, welcome back to Electrica. Uh, today we'll have a very quick video. Um, we'll look at uh, a direct online starter. That's what I have for you today. And uh, we'll go through it quickly. And what, we, what we're going to do today is simply a control circuit. Uh, yes, and uh, we already drew uh, our circuit here. We can go through it. Okay. Uh, first of all, you are, uh, we have our circuit here, which has an overload leader here, and then uh, and then uh, our start. Uh, first through our stop, start, hold, and then to the contact itself. It's a quite simple circuit. Once you master the circuit, then you have everything that, that, that you need. You don't even need to see or, or you know, take note of how the wires move, especially in the video. But once you have the circuit, it's very easier. This symbol denotes a contactor, which has A1 and A2. That's uh, live and neutral. And then... Uh, our current will move through the overload delay, through the stop, to the start, and then to the hold, the hold then to, to our contactor. You can still pause the video, you draw it, and then you go through. You go through it. Okay. Now we can go ahead first we have here our overload and then the contactor with the auxiliary and then we have our button is here start uh, start stop red is for stop and green is for start so we can uh, go ahead and uh, do this very quickly now first we have uh, 96 here 9596 this is where uh, our current will pass through from the breaker now from the breaker from the breaker we'll have our current here from 96 so we'll screw it in very tight don't need any wire to pop out that's it and then we need to make it more tight okay and then uh, here we have uh, our number one of our red button we'll plug in now we've already plugged in we screw That's it. Don't mind about this. Now from there, we'll have to loop the two. So we'll open our screws, then we'll loop the two. Like that, because we need more wires in there. Now, What we'll do here is from this loop, I have to tighten it very well. Then we need to make a hold, like I showed you earlier in the, the picture, the circuit, I mean. So we'll open this one, then we'll have this here. That's tight.
so we'll have now we have from here we've roped from here to the hold now to, from the hold we need to go to the contactor a1 so we'll have to open our contactor a1 very tight and then most of these step, steps it's not a mask that you put it where I'm putting it but so long as you're following the circuit so there now we need as you see from 96 we have our power which comes to terminal 1 through it uh, it loops to the green one to the start button now from the start button we've uh, got a wire from the loop to the hold so that means that this wire has always carrying to the hold but right now even if you start there is no wire here and our circuit can't complete so what do we do and this can't also get so what we we'll do we will connect another wire we need our start button to work so we will connect this wire here now that's number four of the start button Just like that. Okay. Now that from start, we'll have to bring it here, up here, so that there are two here, which will be taking the current directly. To the coil before the contact holds. Now that's done and technically if you look at this our current f comes f from here through the start at the stop it holds and then this one gets supplies that so Now the second step what we do is we will connect our neuter first and that's it and then one more we still have to connect now our air now what we do we will just have to recap this just a little bit this is our L95, it goes to the 96, it comes to one of the stop, now through the stop to the start. Now we have to get uh, power to the hold, such that when we start, our hold 
you release our hold will be taking current through this to to the contactor so the contactor will remain engaged no matter what now what we have to do is to connect our L here like that and then also we connect our neutral now you have to make sure that um, you've not made any mistake you have to be very precise you have to make sure that you've not m made any mistake uh, you have to to test such that you don't have any short circuit in your control circuit it will be very 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 bad if you have uh, a short circuit because you ruin your work okay now this is what we have we've already connected our circuit so what we expect is our contactor to engage So you can still go ahead and, and see what happens. So our power is on. What we have to do is to go ahead and press our start. You see, our contactor is in. So you press, it stops. So basically, what happened is here is a uh, I'll zoom out what happens here basically is a uh, from our circuit breaker we have our line that comes to the 95 and it is closed it will go through 96 then from 96 we go we've gone through our start button which is in the normal closed always that's why you see that you press and it will go off the reason why it will not go on by itself it's because the current can't reach until you press this so the current is just here pending here and also pending here at this point so and uh, our coil is this side so until you press start that's when our coil will get power here through this line directly to the coil like that and then when this one now you can press and press and press but you already press so even if you release it if we didn't have this for example we can disconnect this our hold and then we put it out so what happened you see you don't have the hold so you will start it will be engaged and then you move you start you start so until because the current is just here you start it goes but it can't hold because you don't have the retaining so until you put it back let's put it back now it's back so when you start it will hold because it's holding it through from outside before they start not after they start you see it will hold it before the start button not after the start button so if if you, you get stuck somewhere where you press start and then your contact engages and then you remove the hand and then it disengages that's know that you have to to still check because prob uh, your retain is not there so you have to follow that and then you also have to make sure that you've drawn the circuit this circuit it's very 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 important you must uh, learn how to draw it and the moment 
you do that, then you have everything. The other, every other thing you have to manipulate it the way you want. Now, for example, some of these wires where I've done these loops, you might not do the loop here. You might maybe from here you can connect this wire this side. It's just all the same. Maybe would have even um, got this wire and then would have connected it from here. But what you must never do is to get the retaining before the start. Uh, never get the retaining before the stop because if you get the retaining from this point, your circuit will be engaged. You, st you will press stop and it will never go off. You see, you get your retaining here and the moment you press start, the circuit will be okay, will engage, but you won't be able to stop it because the, you will have extruded this, the stop button. So you have to be to note that, that you never get a retaining on a hold before the stop. The retaining hold has to come after the stop, such that when you press stop, the circuit will disengage. All right. Thank you very much, uh, uh, comrades. It has been indeed a while, but um, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumb up and uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, for more. Thank you very much and bye-bye.